Imagine sitting down in your living room in 2025. You pick up a remote that glows the moment you touch it. You press a button and your TV doesn't just turn on, it wakes up. It knows who you are. It knows that you missed the first 10 minutes of the game. So it offers to show you a quick recap. The picture is sharper than anything you have seen before, even on YouTube. And when you ask, who is that actor? The answer appears instantly without pausing the action. This isn't science fiction. This is the very near future of the Apple TV 4K. The leaks and rumors for the 2025 model are starting to pile up. And if even half of them are true, we are looking at the biggest upgrade to Apple's living room strategy in years. We aren't just talking about a faster processor. We are talking about a device that could finally replace your game console, fix your Wi-Fi problems, and maybe even introduce a budget-friendly surprise that nobody saw coming. In this video, we're going to break down the powerful new silicon, the secret weapon for better streaming quality, the remote control fix everyone has been begging for, and exactly when you can expect to buy it. Let's start with the brain of the operation, the chip. This is where everything begins. The current Apple TV is fast, but it is starting to show its age compared to what Apple is doing with the iPhone and Mac. Reports are pointing to a massive leap for the 2025 model. We're likely looking at the A17 Pro chip. Why does that matter for a streaming box? Two words, ray tracing. The A17 Pro is the same chip that brought console quality gaming to the iPhone 15 Pro. If Apple puts this chip in a box that is plugged into the wall without battery constraints, the gaming potential is huge. We could finally see real AAA games running natively on your TV. Think Resident Evil, Death Stranding, or Assassin's Creed, running smoothly without needing a PlayStation or Xbox. It turns the Apple TV from a video player into a legitimate game console. Even if you aren't a gamer, this chip matters. It means the interface will be instant. No loading spinners. No lag when switching apps. It means the device will be future-proof for the next five years of updates. But there is a hidden feature in the A17 Pro that is even more important for movie lovers. AV1 decoding. This is a technical term, but the benefit is simple. AV1 is the new standard for streaming video. YouTube uses it. Netflix uses it. It delivers higher quality video at lower internet speeds. Right now, the Apple TV has to use software to decode this, which is hard work. With the new chip, it happens in hardware. This means you get crisp, clear 4K HDR video on YouTube without your device breaking a sweat. If you have a data cap or slower internet, this is a game changer. Connectivity is the next big pillar. The 2025 Apple TV is rumored to support Wi-Fi 6E and possibly even Wi-Fi 7. If you live in an apartment building or a house with a lot of devices, this is huge. Wi-Fi 6E opens up a new fast lane for data. It means your 4K stream won't buffer just because someone else is downloading a game in the other room. It reduces interference. And for the smart home users, the thread and matter support will be faster than ever. Your smart lights will respond the millisecond you press the button on the remote. Speaking of the remote, let's talk about the one thing everyone hates, losing it. The Siri remote is great until it slides between the couch cushions. The 2025 model is rumored to finally fix this. We are expecting a built-in UWB chip. This is the same ultra-wideband tech found in AirTags. Instead of just making a sound, you'll be able to open your iPhone and see an arrow pointing you directly to the remote. It will guide you to the exact cushion it is hiding under. But that's not all. There are whispers about backlit buttons. Imagine picking up the remote in a dark room and having the buttons glow softly so you can see pause, play, and volume without turning on lights. It is a small quality of life change, but it makes the premium price feel worth it. Now, here is the plot twist that could shake up the industry. For years, Apple has ignored the budget market. Roku and Amazon Fire TV dominate the sub dollar fifty price point. But rumors are swirling that Apple might finally release a cheaper, stick-style device. Imagine a dongle that plugs directly into the back of your TV, hidden from sight. It might not have the gaming power of T, the big box, but it would give you the Apple TV interface, AirPlay, and privacy features for a fraction of the cost. 
If Apple releases a TV stick for $49 or $69, it would be an instant bestseller for guest rooms, travel, and dorms. On the software side, tvOS is getting smarter. We are already seeing features like Insight, which tells you actor names and song titles in real time. But with the new A17 Pro chip, Apple intelligence could come to the big screen. Imagine asking Siri to find me a movie like Inception, but less confusing, and it actually understands what you mean. Imagine it's summarizing a show you haven't watched in a while, so you can catch up. The processing power allows for on-device AI that is private and fast. So when can you buy it? Apple usually follows a spring or fall release cycle for the Apple TV. Given the depth of these upgrades, a fall 2025 launch alongside the new iPhones seems most likely. This positions it as the perfect holiday gift. As for price, the main 4K box will likely stay in the $129 to $149 range. Apple likes the premium spot, but if the budget stick is real, that could drop in the spring or summer as a surprise drop. The big question remains, should you wait? If your current Apple TV is working fine, keep it. It is still a great device. But if you're holding on to an old HD model, or if you're tired of the slow interface on your smart TV, the 2025 Apple TV is worth the wait. The jump to the A17 Pro chip alone is a generational leap that will keep the device fast for years to come. The Apple TV is evolving. It isn't just a streamer anymore. It is becoming the brain of your home. It connects your entertainment, your smart home, and your games into one seamless experience. It is the silent computer that makes your living room feel magical. My best opinion on this product strategy. Honestly, I think the move to the A17 Pro chip is the most critical decision Apple can make. The Apple TV has always been overpowered for streaming, but underpowered for gaming. This chip bridges that gap. If they can actually get developers to port console quality games to the Apple TV, they can disrupt the console market from the bottom up. Not everyone wants to spend $500 on a PS5, but everyone wants to play GTA or FIFA. If a $149 box can do that, it's a winner. Also, the Find My Remote is long overdue. It is such a simple fix for such a universal problem. If you like this deep dive into the future of Apple's living room, make sure you subscribe to the channel, share this video with your tech-loving friends, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching.